Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about CSS box shadow. The markup is super simple. We have section, we have an H1, and we have a paragraph. Now CSS box shadow refers to providing shadows for a CSS box. What is a CSS box or what constitutes a CSS box is an HTML element. So whether that HTML element is a parent, such as section, or it's a child, such as H1 and paragraph. Doesn't matter. All HTML elements are treated as boxes in CSS. Anyway, it doesn't matter what, what their role is in CSS. Sorry, in HTML, CSS doesn't care about it. So if we grab our section, first off, let's provide some styling so it stands out a little bit. Padding. Um, we do have another shorthand for padding, triple Ds, and that is like, let's say, 15 pixels and 25 pixels. So if you see two values in padding, the first one refers to the padding top and bottom, the second one refers to the padding on right and left. I'm going to give it a color of FFF, a font family, Arial. Um, just save that. Why did I pro Oh, well, I'm going to provide it with a background color as well. So background, um, should I, I'm going to provide it with gray kind of, there we go. So I need more real estate in my browser, but okay. I should be able to show it to you. I'm going to, I'm going to do a trick. So I'm going to say uh, display inline block. So I just need this, this edge. So you saw when I increased or decreased the width of the window, this box kept getting increased or decreased because section is actually a block level, uh, block level element. It takes all the space in front of it. When you say inline block, it is like the best of both, both worlds. The reason that I'm doing this is because I need to show you the shadow on the right. If it takes all the space, how can I show you the shadow, the box shadow? So I'm just going to set it to inline block. There we go. I'm going to zoom out a little, a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. So box shadow, you are the... Um, Property name is box shadow. Then you're going to have uh, four values. The first one is the horizontal offset. The fourth value is optional. That is the, um, what was it? The spread radius. I keep forgetting it. The first one is the horizontal offset. I'm going to set it to five pixel. Oops. Five pixel. It means the shadow on the right of the box. So you have to keep this in mind. Whenever you provide a box shadow by default, all the positive values are going to be on the right and on the bottom. If you provide negative values, they're going to be on the left and on the top. So by default, positive 5 pixel says put, put the shadow on the right of the box. Positive 10 pixels says put the shadow on the bottom of the box. And then you have the blur radius. You want to have like the solid shadow or you want to have like blurry shadow. So when you say 5 pixel, it's going to be a blurry shadow. It, it, it looks better if you provide a blur radius. Then you need to provide the color of the shadow. It's black. So you can see the shadow on the right is smaller than the shadow on the bottom. I could show it to you better like this. So you can see it's 100 pixels and it's 5 pixels. So now you can visualize horizontal offset, vertical offset. Offset, how much it is away from a certain point. That's what offset basically means. It used to elude me for four years of my university life. What is offset? Now I do understand it. So from a certain point, how much you go away? That is the offset point. How much you have offset it from that point? I believe for uh, uh, native English speakers, that's like a piece of cake. But for us, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, so they, these provide, these are provided on the right and bottom. What if you want to provide on the left and top? So you need to change the sign of it. So I'm going to provide some space. So you have another value in here as well. That is the spread radius. How large do you want the shadow be? So if you say 10 pixel, so you can see like it's bigger, better. I'm going to provide one more 
and let's just provide some space so this time I'm going to provide the spread radius to 2 the uh, now that you understand the vertical offset and all of that cool stuff I'm just going to decrease the shadow amount so like a subtle one what if you want to provide a shadow on the left and top so after the color you're going to provide a comma then provide negative values so negative 2 pixel is going to provide the shadow on the left of the box negative 3 pixel is going to provide the shadow on the top of the box and then for for uh, blur radius and spread you should not provide negative values so I'm going to say 5 pixel and 2 pixel and then provide the color now you can see you have a consistent shadow across this box this is how box shadow works in CSS see you in the next lecture